Good morning. So we're working on our well here again. Well, as you had uh, probably seen in a couple other videos, it's filled right back up to the top. So we've been working on pumping this out. Got a head start on it last night. Pumped down quite a few feet yesterday and uh, got here early this morning, fired the pump back up, got going again. So it's come down, uh, oh, I don't know, about four feet in uh, about 45 minutes here. So uh, hopefully by coffee time when my equipment operator gets back, he, uh, he should be good to go here. So I got our well rings here, they're all ready to go. Our hole didn't quite have the room that we wanted to be able to fit them all in here. So uh, that's why we're coming back to dig out a little bit more, flatten out the bottom. Once that's done, we'll level out the bottom of the hole with some of that drain rock you see behind the bucket there. And uh, start placing the rings. And then fill up the annular space around the rings the rest of the hole with uh, a whole bunch of drain rock and oversized rock. The annular space gives uh, a little more holding capacity there and also uh, room for the water to filter in in through to the well, the well casings there. Just as an aside here, you can kind of see the water pull up, pouring in down there. I don't know how well that'll show up. But we're just starting to get to the uh, the layer uh, of shale where it's all running in. The recovery right here is pretty heavy. We got lots of water flowing. You may also be able to see it down here. And here. Yeah, so looking forward to getting this all together here. So the hole's getting a little bigger. Stop and take some measurements here, see how close we are to uh, being able to fit our rings in. Yeah, so yesterday we made uh, pretty good progress. We expanded this hole a fair bit, as you can see here. Almost double the size. We're going to have uh, lots of water capacity here now. Uh, we had to expand it a little bit to get, uh, get adequate size for the, uh, all the rings I want to place in there. Oh man, so it's early. It's Monday morning. Uh, we're coming out here a little bit early so we can get the pump started and uh, start working on pumping out this well here. I don't know how well this is going to show up at all. But uh, pump's under there. <laughs> There's an excavator there somewhere in the dark. Down here we got uh, a very big puddle of water. So let's get started, see what we can do. Yeah, so we got the pump fired up. It's rolling along here. We're not going down very fast. About two inches in ten minutes. And we got what another 200 inches to go. So I think I'm gonna head into town, grab another pump, see if we can get things rolling a little quicker here. Got a bigger pump than my little old uh, two horse Honda there, or two inch Honda. Let's see if we can make some progress on this, get working here yet today. Okay, so got uh, another pump here. Went up the size to a three inch. And uh, now we're making a little bit of progress here. It's going a lot faster. Three inch pump compared to a two inch pump. You got about uh, two and a quarter times the cross section, I think it is. 
and uh, a lot less friction losses so we're pumping out at least three times as much water just by going up one inch with that other pump so yeah now we should make some progress hopefully in a couple hours here we'll have this sucker drained and ready to start digging okay so we got a hole we got it cleaned out Let's start throwing some material in all right so we got some towers installed Got a fair bit of capacity there. And then we're now we're going to fill up all around with a bunch of drain rock and a bunch of oversized rock. That'll give a bunch of annular space. A little more water holding capacity. After we got that filled up to uh, to basically that layer where the water is all coming in, we'll cap it off with some concrete, seal it off from groundwater, and backfill up to the surface. So after a full day's worth of work, this is what we're left with. We've got one tower coming through to the surface. Everything else is buried underneath a whole pile of rock. That uh, rock there we got was awful dirty. Plus, uh, trying to work in the mud, lots of mud, it got a little dirtier. So uh, tomorrow, we're going to attempt to wash some of that all down. We're just going to recirc the water, push that all down, end up with a whole pile of really grubby water in that well, which will then pump out. And we'll probably have to pump her out a time or two again as it fills up, collects more water, just to get rid of all the all the fines and the nasty stuff. So, we'll uh, when all is said and done, we'll have another uh, tower on top of that one, bring it up to and past the surface, and that'll be capped off. And we'll backfill all of this after we put down a layer of concrete. The uh, the concrete is supposed to be there to seal off your hole from any ground or any uh, surface water. Um, there's obviously a whole bunch of runoff coming off the hill here and you want that water to sort of pass on through continue on its way down to the creek. What you want in the well is good clean groundwater that's been filtered, that's had time to seep through the soil uh, to get into there. So uh, hopefully that's what we're going to end up with in there. We'll. Uh, We'll get that capped off, but not today and not tomorrow. It's supposed to be in for a few days of rain here, so yeah, we'll probably let this fill up a time or two, pump it out a couple times to uh, get rid of the, the uh, dirty water and mud, and uh, after that, we should be good. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I'm, uh, I wish I was going home, but I got work to do in the office, so I gotta head there for a while.